Hi, very good morning. Welcome to Pro Coding Skills and today we'll be covering about Apex class level variables and in this uh, at end of this story or this session you will be able to declare a class level variables and you can invoke them outside of a class or we can also say that you can able to call or access those variables outside of a class right and let's quickly jump on and we can declare few variables class level variables and as we discussed earlier then we discussed this what do pvc is our class name uh, from the previous session if you are, haven't seen this let's go back and check it out the whole video and you will get to know how you can declare a apex class in salesforce and moreover today the concept topic we'll be discussing is class level variables the class level variables are of two different types one is static class level variables and another is non static class level variables let me keep a comments so we have two things one is static class level variables and the second one is non static class level variable so let's understand what is a variable a variable is a identifier that it will store a value of a particular element let's say if you wanted to pass if you wanted to store a username or if you wanted to store some other things then we need to declare a variable first the variable with hold the value whatever you are passing whatever you are assigning we can also say so the technically the data type of a variable looks like this access specifier access specifier and it's an optional that whether if you are declaring it is a static variable then you need to have a static and data type like string integer or you can say date date time list and you can represent whatever the data types even apex class can also be a data type in this case name of variable which you will be defining equal to value semicolon and this syntax should be uh, follows for a static class level variable if it is a non static then it same access specifier you don't get a static keyword it's directly data type name of variable equal to value right this is the declaration for a static level variable i've been syntax and this is a syntax for non static variable let's see by setting up a new the access specifiers here, here we have global public private and protected for now we'll be discussing about public and we'll see when we need to use a private protected and all and in go in the further sessions and for now we'll be using public as our access modifier or a specifier public static i'm declaring a static variable string i need to mention my data type string name of person and i am declaring as apex developer and if i want to call declare as a non static variable then i don't want to use a static keyword if you mention a static it means that it becomes a static class variable if you don't define as a static in the syntax or a signature then it will it will be a non static string name of course salesforce developer so i declare as two variables one is name of per, uh, uh, name of person the other one is name of course so let's quickly deploy these changes to salesforce i'm deploying it i'm deploying it the class level variables when you wanted to access a class level variable let's define class level variables are accessible by its class name example 
if the class name is udemy poc udemy poc dot is a calling operator dot is a calling operator and you can simply call variable name so this is how you will gonna use if it is a class variables what if it is a non static non static variables can be invoked by its object non static variables can be invoked by its object and here it is a static variable for example you can see new your class name dot new your class name dot so you can able to technically access object but we'll see in the execution how easily we can create this so you have to access non static variables by its object if it is a static variable you can access by its class name we'll understand uh, further while going into execution okay i have successfully deployed this class to salesforce and let's quickly jump and open resource Udemy POC and this is my class and here you can see name of the person as I mentioned if I want to read a static variable the easy way that I can do string static value equal to I'm reading a static value dot name of a person name of a person if i want to read a non static variable then i need to define an object first so define object to access non static variable how to define an object here how to define an object class name obj equal to new keyword class name is nothing but a constructor semicolon now string non static value equal to obj dot your name of course your non static variable name your non static variable name so now if i want to display output system dot debug static value this is how you can read a values this is how you can read a values if i want to use non static i'm just doing copy paste and i'll say non static and i'll say non static value now if i execute this if i execute this execute now you should be getting static as a sales apex development and salesforce development debug log you can see static is apex developer and non static is a, no you can see static is apex developer non static is a salesforce development you are getting the same right now the question goes how i can override the values how i can override the values so to override the values it's very simple if you want to update odemy.poc if you want to write the value for odemy. person you can simply say equal to updating to pro coding skills so now what i am doing i am just assigning say if the va variable you are referring is in left side of equal it means that you are writing a value if it is a right side of equal that means that you are reading a value so in this case we are writing a value and replacing apex developer to updating to pro coding skills because we are assigning a new value and then we are reading here likewise i'll also do same here also i'll assign a value obj equal to now i'm trying to read a value or write a value in this case saying that subscribe for more updates now what i mean now the value should come as updating to pro coding skills or subscribe for more updates because before i am reading a value the earlier statement is writing a statement i am updating it let's execute let's execute
you can see so it's a very easy thing if you want to access a static variable you need to access by its class name if you want to access a non static variable then you need to access by its object of a class or instance of a class or entity of a class definition or term can be anything you have to do with the class object that's the ground rule accessing a non static members thanks for watching please do subscribe and stay tuned for further updates have a good time bye bye